Excuse me, losers. Coming through. We finally made it past all these little gates. We can now enter here and finally get a fast travel point. I guess the middle echelons don't really have rest spots, which is interesting. Yeah, just Fort Knox. Interesting. Alright, so I'm gonna go back. We can fast travel right to Fort Knox. Why are there lethal armors? I want some new enemy variety. There are 500 monsters in the game, Square Enix. I need to see more of them. I think I've only scouted like 18% of them, give or take. Maybe like 15%. I know it was at least 15%. First things first, can I get a rank D just off the cuff? We can get Hypothermian. Wild Slime is also a rank D. A couple of rank Ds we can get. King Bubble Slime. Shivery Shrubbery. Coco Bob Blobolus. This is basically the slime stack, but like chocolate version. Dragon Slime is rank D? Yes, please. Giving up my King Slime wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because I'd be able to, like, inherit the stats. Shining Shot, huh? Shining Shot is what Angelo gets, right? Pretty sure it is. It's Barricade. Barricade is decent. I were to get you, I would inherit this, so I'd get mid heal. I'd have to learn Zing again, but that's doable. Tip attack, dazzle, fizzle, miracle slash. I'd take shallow breather, obviously. Do I bother taking Kabuff? Probably gonna need it. But also, this isn't really a good skill tree for you. You already have Zapple through this tree. Fandango, I'm hoping you're really fast so I can make use of Fandango. Maybe I just take more agility to make use of Fandango. Hi friends, you will now become a Dragon Slime. Which I'm shocked is a rank D, but I'm glad because it looks really cool. Now, the next thing I want to do is see if I can merge my Iron Maiden with anything. Or just some of these monsters that I've used for a long time, just to get some other stuff. If we can get the Brombella, uh, the Umbrella enemy. We could get Hypothermian with, um, with the Iron Maiden, with Belleth, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I actually wouldn't be against that. His hypothermia looks kind of cool. Got Kata Kasap, Frenzy, Kanum. I don't know what Kanum is. Multi Persecutor. Sounds really good. You can also get it Zamel if we get Hexic Communicator. Look how fast are you, though? Is Fandango going to be worth it? Your agility is three stars, which isn't terrible. It's like. I'm par with your wisdom and MP, so I think I'm honestly gonna do this. We're not inheriting that, I don't think. Or maybe we are, actually. We're inheriting a Hex Communicator and your default one. I definitely think I want Fandango, although the Dragon Slime is Fandango, so maybe I should look at the Dragon Slime first. Are you? What are your stats? Your agility is actually really terrible. <laughs> okay. So I think I stick with the hypothermian and try to get it Fandango. 
and Hex Communicator to get close to Zamel. Zamel's like top priority. Alright, we got two ranked Ds, which is good. We're finally getting to the point where we're getting ranked Ds. I can't help but notice, but they really should have had the middle echelon available to us, like, before General Chain. I can get a Spidey Slime, but I feel like that's pointless because I'll be able to, like, recruit it once I'm done with this area. Meowgician? I did consider getting you, but I don't think it's really worth it anymore because you're rank E. Goldfinch? Jargon? What about the, uh, the cannon boxes? Can they get me anything? They can get me stuff, but nothing crazy. They can get me the Harmer. I think I saw this thing in, like, the, uh, the wild somewhere. It's got all the slashes. It gets Hatchet Man, which is really good. It's also got really good defense, and its attack isn't half bad. It is a rank E, but I still think this might be good to get. Could be interesting to get it. What the heck is this? Scorn. Got really good agility. This thing with Fandango would be really good. Unfortunately, Fandango is on another monster right now. Mighty Oak. You know what? I want to do some of these fusions just to get, like, some scouts done. Like, just, to, just to have monsters on the team, whether I'm going to use them or not. Dark Artist? You get Zamel, but it's at 100 SP. Probably just Magic Maven. Actually, no, no. Yeah, I guess you. No Apothecary. Do this one. Merman and Nuash become the Imp. Classic little Imp. I just add you to the team now. Oh, no, I have the Clockwork thing, so it's not gonna work. Bum, bum. We're waiting to get the rank D mech with you, whatever that may be. Also, it's not high enough level. I wouldn't want to use my dragon slime anyway. I just pressed that by mistake. What the heck is this? The ornery onion. Slime. Ooh, a gold avian android? Back to reverse search. Ideally, E and O. The Harmer is tempting. The Harm Hour? Really tempting. Freezing Fog. We do need more ice coverage. You know, actually, getting... Getting one of these is actually not a bad idea. Maybe we need more fire or ice coverage. I feel like fire, we've actually had lack of coverage lately. You can always scout another one of you. It's not a big deal. SP on you? What the heck? This is your best one, I think. It's so crazy, what the heck? Ooh, Deep Breather, good. And also get you Swoosh at some point. And then... I guess I'll take the Frizz and Frizzle. 
Okay, I'm gonna want to get another cloud then, because I would like to get the freezing one too, maybe. It's the Hooper Trooper. It's Booga. I hate that freak. Rubble slime. This is tempting. This is like really tempting. Super tempting. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Blade Maven. Probably just a soggy slasher, even though you get Cracker Slash. I'll just get Thrill Seeker for coverage and then maybe just more MP. And that should do it for synthesizing for now. We got a lot of good stuff. This thing isn't a rank D, but this thing has, like, I feel like its stats are good that it might as well be, like, a E, like, close to a rank D. Like to make an exchange. Okay, we're using. We don't want the imp here. I mean, the imp here actually. If we have space, we can put the imp. We don't want the lampling. We're gonna keep you in the bench until we get something to use you. Jackal, slime stack, dragon slime, this thing, hypothermium. We definitely want. El Nino. We definitely want. Keep the imp just so we can get some level ups and we can fuse them away. And we want one more thing. Maybe the cannon box in place of the slime knight. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine for now. Honestly? Low key? Lightning is not helping us much, so maybe take you out and put back Hellbound Horror until this thing gets Zamel. Yeah. Do that. Oh. Don't be a stranger. Also, items. I am loaded. Give me some more of these. Also, some more of these. One of those. Some of these. I'm also gonna like invest a thousand gold to my bank. All that grinding got me a lot of money. Deposit. But can I- do I only have to- I can only deposit a thousand at a time? That's stupid. Alright, cool. Good to know. Is this game at bench XP? Yeah. Obviously, the monsters in the depot don't get experience, but that'd be, like, overkill. <laughs> the monsters that are, like, with you get experience, but that's plenty. Take me to Fort Knox. Hellbound Horror, put in you. Yes, yeah, it's fine. We have a couple of level ones, so we gotta like level them up. I'm gonna like kill something here to try to get them leveled. Yo, Razzle welcome to the stream. I know you were asking about Dragon Quest, so I was hoping you would come today, and here you are. Oh, this is the cannon box that I just got. I have to allocate its talent points. That's fine. Get multi-fisted. Um, maybe not the best enemy to fight the first thing when, like, I have a bunch of level ones. It'll work out, though. Bum-bum-bum. Ow. 
It still does a lot of damage for you resisting that, though. Oh my word. 18 damage for the kill. I love it. Wait. Switch you out. Put you in. Another multi fist. Another Zan. Normal attack. Zapple. Oh, I'm further than you? Oh, you're on the, uh... You're on the, uh, you're on per the Pearl Civil boss fight, the Rose Guardian. You're not too far from me. I mean, it does depend. There's, uh, there's two circles that you can do in any order. There's that, and then the Cradle of Corruption. The game gives you both of them at the same time, and you could do whichever one you want first. I did the, um... I did that one first. I forgot, what's the circle called? Dang it. Circle of Fortitude, right? It's Circle of Fortitude. I did Circle of Fortitude first. And I went back for the Cradle of Corruption. We need Zing ASAP. So I'm gonna get you some agility. I could just get you all these stuff now. Oh my word. Okay, then. Get you a bit more agility. And then... We'll work on that later because we have the Hell Nino with the breath stuff. Inferno? Cool. Good stuff. And you, we're gonna work on Blade Maven. Because that's your best skill tree. And then you, we're gonna work on... I don't know, actually. I mean, ideally, yeah, we should get Evil Genius up. And you have 70. I have to allocate these again. Because I use the one that I allocated stuff, and the imp doesn't really matter. But I guess I'll do this. The imp is here to get level 10. Oh, just wait till, um, just wait till the next boss. The boss after the Cradle of Corruption? Just wait. Good thing you're doing all that, like, synthesizing now. Just you wait. We just got passed up. That's a new dragon. Or, not dragon. That's a new enemy that we haven't seen in this playthrough. Um, just wait until... <laughs> a certain boss coming up. We, we actually passed it at the beginning of the stream today. It was, um, I had to do a lot of grinding for it. It's like the game expected me to have rank Ds, but I didn't have access to rank Ds other than, like, a king slime. Honestly, the Jackal carried me. Multi-Fist was good DPS. Your 29 healing means nothing to me. It actually is irrelevant. Like, why even bother? Just accept death. You got Slash. Are you Terry? Oh my word, that damage! <laughs> That's crazy. That Giga Slash did like 240 damage. What the heck? The Dragon Slime is goaded. I love him. We gotta do some fights because I have a couple of like lower level monsters. Although, level 9 to 11 is fine because they sort of start to catch up. I need to see what these moves do. Inflicts outrageous electrical damage on a single enemy. The higher the user's level, the greater the damage will be inflicted. Oh, so this is based on level. Interesting. This is the higher the this is also based on level. This is based on agility, which I found out you're really slow. That was insane. 